Hey everybody, welcome back to Battle Ready Gaming. So today we're here at Garner's Games once again, and we're playing some Shatterpoint. We've got Dooku on the channel for the first time today. Want to make sure we get him uh, on the channel ASAP. We got a whole bunch of other new Shatterpoint content coming out this week, so want to go ahead and get him as well as his entourage of Magnet Guards and Django Fett uh, before we try something else. We also have the Inquisitors coming out very soon. So uh, Dark Side definitely got some really nice, fun stuff to play with. Um, but we're also, we've got uh, Obi-Wan with Padawan, Ahsoka here, and the 212, and then Anakin with Rex and his 501st. Um, I'm going to try not to do anything too OP with Obi-Wan. I know that's been a big complaint about uh, him here recently. Um, so we'll try to keep that in check here. Uh, then, uh, yeah, that's going to be about it. We're going to go ahead and get the rest of this set up, and we're going to jump right into it. So if you're looking for some Legion product, we definitely have plenty here. Just everything. we got Luminara and uh, the Inquisitors in the back. There's some X-Wing down there. we got extra dice. I mean, if you're looking for Le or Shatterpoint project to work on, we definitely got plenty here. Got everything to choose from. Also, if you're a fan of Legion, on our all the Legion stuff we cover, we got you know great selection of Legion stuff here as well. Definitely come by, come get a game in, or we literally have people looking for games all the time. So just pop in, join our Discord, and come play with us. So this is our battle for today. Uh, we pick, we got the I don't even know what you call that, the Z. Okay, the asset locate the assets so it's like a z shape there so first one and then the middle three across the board that should be fun and then the back one right there so uh and then uh, ray is going to go first because they won the roll off so they get the first activation of the game this is it's been 50 50 i think so far on is going first better or going second because you can't score first but you can jump in and grab some key points early. All right, so we both moved so far. So he pulled a shatter point. We just pulled, went with the droids here and uh, moved them into position for later on. Uh, we are curious though, if anyone knows uh, shatter point, if you draw the shatter point, can you use a force point to put that in reserve or not? Um, next, I drew my Anakin, and while didn't really want Anakin to go first, uh, he's got the speed I needed, so I went ahead and moved him up, force jump, just to get him even closer for that extra little bit of oomph to score this point here, and then we scored this one here. Uh, he positioned himself, so he scored that one in the very beginning, um, but because he went first, he didn't score, so we have moved the uh, tracker to two, our direction, and... The game is afoot. All right, so Dooku went ahead and moved up, hunkered, uh, managed to get to the ladder, so took the free climb up here, scored that one. So two points brought us back to the middle there, so we each gained a momentum. We went ahead and next for Galactic Republic, we pulled our clones and moved up, went up the ladder for free here, scored us over there, and then this guy went over here to help support Anakin, took a take cover, to give him uh, his buddy over here, I think a much needed hunker token. So we're scoring three this round, so we're gonna take it three back to our direction. It's a pretty vicious game so far. No blood, but lots and lots of scoring, which is pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so uh, Ray pulled Asajj here, went ahead and moved, and then spent two force points to double jump up into our face here. Gonna try to take us out, gonna melee into us. We have that hunker token, and remember like I was talking in the beginning, we have that knowledge and defense, which lets us keep it when we're engaged and use it in, uh, in melee. So she is slinging eight dice here. See if I can roll better than I did last game. And only one fails, so that's a good sign. Yeah, yeah. Got some expertise in there. Hit, hit, hit. Gonna hit two expertise. Which her expertise makes a crit and a hit. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we get four normally for melee plus one because of our hunker token because of Obi-Wan's ability. Uh, we got three blocks and then two expertise of our own here on these guys, which is, is one, one more blocks. So we got four blocks here. So you're getting three through onto your, uh, 
Wow, she's she just six damage right out of the gate. Yeah, we're just gonna smack him for okay. six damage. Uh, and we have a total of seven, so we're down to one. <laughs> we're we're still in it. We're still we're still holding that point down. We're, thank God for that extra little bit of dice there. Golly, almost one shot at us. <laughs> All right, so we pulled Ahsoka here. Used her ability to move Obi Wan up a little bit, just so hopefully he can do some more supporting here soon when we pull him. And then took the free climb up the ladder. We are now blocking the ladder for anyone else to use right now. But I uh, wanted to get in melee with Asajj here and uh, go ahead and smack her. How many dice? Seven dice here with Good. snips. Okay, I got one fail and one expertise. One expertise in melee is two hits. All right. uh, I also have repulse. Sorry, uh, I can't ever say that. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, you'll take two damage for your one fail. Okay. Uh, I'm also gonna fail. I don't know if you're having anything keys off on that. Mm, nope. And my two expertise is going to change one of your crits to a, a hit, hit okay. and I'll add one block. All right, so four in total. So we get three through then. So consult our tracker here. Uh, we can heal one of our our clones there, or we can. Reposition, shove. A shove kind of sounds right, nice right now. Shove you off of this. Hmm. I can do a jump. Be a lot to consult on this one. All right. So uh, decided to go with this right here. We shoved her off of the point. We jumped up uh, for free onto their side. So freed up the ladder in case anybody else like Obi Wan wants to come over here. Um, and we scored three points again. Uh, moving it ever closer to our momentum here, so momentum is definitely picking up for uh, for the Republic. All right, Django coming in hot here, moving, jet packing up. It's going to see if we can finish off our clone here. If so, uh, Separatists will take this middle point because Asajj is still close enough here. Remember, everything's treated as one level for the purposes of uh, like cohesion and scoring and things like that. And a good start. No blanks. That's good. Yeah. Or fails, I should say. Two expertise. Four, two expertise. We are shooting. That is worth two more. Oh, that's crits. Oh, yeah. Well, the second you get a crit, I mean, we're done here. So <laughs> I got my four plus one from the hunker. Uh, yeah. And that's a fail. Two blocks. And then that turns into. I think it's a single block, if I remember right. Uh. Where are you guys at? Uh, yeah, single block. So three. So you're gonna get three through. So that's gonna be. Uh, and they're down to one. So either way, they'll be out of the fight. Yeah. And this will get flipped. Okay, I'm actually gonna activate. They get a, technically a strain token, but that's not gonna matter along with their extra damage. Yep. And I'm gonna activate capture wire. Uh, choose a character in this unit and an enemy character within range three of that character. Pull the chosen enemy token or a character uh, range two towards a chosen allied character. Interesting. So I think I can yank her off this terrain and down to Ventress. Well, I guess we'll take a look. All right, so we pulled our, our 212 guys. They both moved up and they are both going to shoot into Asajj here. So, uh, first one, uh, first. So we got six attack dice here. Range. Ooh, double, oh, triple fail, ouch. I only get five defense dice. And I get no expertise on this first attack. Which kind of sucks. Wow, <laughs> oh, full. And none of these count because of that. So that oh, was huge. Yeah, yeah, that, that, the, uh, Ahsoka thing where we canceled the expertise on that last round was actually huge. All right, so we're three across here. So that's gonna be two damage and a mobilize. Uh, we could push, but I don't, actually a push actually not too bad right now. Get you even further from that point. Uh, and then another of the- uh, Expose. Expose, yep. So, which will apply to the next hit. Yep. All right. So you wanna push? I need to make sure that if we push, you're not out of range. Okay, no, yeah, you'll be fine. So yeah, we'll push you. 
just as furthest from that point as possible here. It pushes range yeah, one? Yeah, so I'll push you that far. Okay, so it's going to go die, kind of this way because it's coming from that one, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and then still within range, plenty. So I'll attack again here. Okay, once again, I'll get extra D. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just roll like you did before. Oh man, we keep getting fails like crazy though. Yeah, I kind of did. Yeah, no, it, it got one block. We got one expertise on the 212, which is just one hit. All right. So cancel one with my one block. Oh, well that's Start huge again. because you cancel out that very last one, which is a lot of damage. All right, and so yeah, we'll just push again. Uh, you've already got the one immobilized, so we can't stack those. But yeah, we'll, we'll push you again and uh, expose you again. It's pretty good. And that's gonna come from this one, so what, this way? Uh, it's from this one here, so it's just that way, yep. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, we will not get close enough to take this middle point back, because uh, this clone trooper here is wounded, so. I got you off the point, what makes it a little bit easier. I could take a free stair ride up here, but I don't think I'm still on range two. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, the clone trooper's block physically yeah, blocking I, you. I could like really oh nope. <laughs> Moving back. I could get right up against him, but yeah, it's just not gonna be quite close enough, unfortunately. Alright, and what feels very familiar, drew the droids. Droids took the free climb up the ladder here. And they're uh, Oh and we will focus. Gonna focus and then fire into Ahsoka here. Ahsoka does have deflect, thankfully. We've got five defense dice versus eight attack range. dice. Okay. Golly. Okay. Dang. Um, that's that a, a good roll. That was a great roll. Yeah, three expertise there. Just two more hits. Ouch. Uh, yep. No, no fail. Not one fail to take damage. Oh my god, I get two fails though. Uh, two expertise here on defense. Yep, so good. Do we do, no oh we, yeah we do, okay. Uh, two blocks. So those converted blocks, so take three away. You still get four through though, which is almost our whole line. Yeah, so first one is going to do damage, a reposition, uh, two more damage, an exposed uh, then we'll give her a strain. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't want to tell you too much. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, my reposition. So, we take four damage in total here. Mm -hmm. Ouch. And I'll do my reposition after I do my next attack. Just, yep. Uh, so same question thing. for the audience. Uh, does the focus count for each character? Uh, once you oh. use it, it should go away. Okay, so I just use seven dice. Yeah. Shooting Ahsoka again. Rolling not quite as well, but still. Hey, that was good. a failure though, so you'll take two damage. And four, four. expertise with my blaster is three more three hits. hits. Ouch. Okay. And my two damage, what are you doing now? Man, more fails. So just the one here. Uh does convert the one converts at least into two blocks. So we're just taking one on this one. Only one? Oh yeah. wait. Sorry, you had you were exposed. So oh, I was it, I was exposed. So yeah, it's only the two then. Okay, so you block two. Yeah. So yeah. Ouch. <laughs> that's big. So that's going to be another reposition for that unit. Another exposed plus four damage. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> which I think uh, will which wound. will wound her. So that pulls her out of the fight too. I'm losing the middle point fast. All right, so we pulled our shatter point card here. So I'm going to go ahead and activate Anakin. I really want to just get these droids out of here, get our point back. Um, I could do something like way more, I don't know, risky or something like that, go with Obi-Wan, but I think just controlling the point is really important, and so I know they've already gone twice, so they're not going to go again at all, um, but it's, it feels like a good move to make, so that's the one we're going to do here. So we've got two of our guys wounded here, Padawan Ahsoka. Uh, also did point, forgot to mention earlier that uh, Asajj did get wounded as well by our 212 guys, exactly enough to wound. All right, so we're gonna focus and then swing on the droids here. Ooh, more fails. Oh my God, look at that one hit. 
All right. Five expertise, which could hurt into something. Uh, just a crit and two hits. It kind of caps out low here. All right. And I'm gonna cancel two hits. Two. Go droids. All right, so we'll do two here, so we can do a sh two shoves and four wounds. So yeah, I think we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead and shove you back and do four wounds. But I'm also gonna go ahead, because they're still alive, right? Oh. Yeah, they got nine health. Uh, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna end this, spend two force points. After this unit makes a combat to action, it may use this ability. Uh, one character of this unit may make an attack targeting one of the same enemy characters within range and line of sight. Well, do you, which one are you shoving? Uh, that's a good point. Um, I guess we'll have to shove this one here off the shove, point. If you shove off, though, that's going to be a different character, won't it? Be a character. So well, it's, you, it's the same character, right? Because it's the same card. Uh, uh same unit. Same, not same unit. Character. Oh, okay. That's what I was saying. You may not. You may want to just do the shove into my guy so that he can't be shoved any further. Hmm. So that you can make your second attack against the unit. That's true. I didn't even think about. Yeah, because I wanted to get you away from this point. Mm -hmm. But if you wound me, I'm away from this point. I know if you if I wound you, but if I could just if I push you far enough with the all these attacks, then that would also. Because hmm. I'm in range, you could push this guy back, but then I would be out of range for the melee attack. All right. hmm. we'll, we'll think this over. All right, so yeah, the basically the verdict came back. If we shove this one, we can't. It would shove twice. It'd be way over here. We can't melee it anymore. Uh, if we shove this one off, we can't melee it anymore. So um, yeah, we're just not going to push them. We're just going to go for the wound here. So spin the two force to attack again. Uh, one less dice because we don't have the focus anymore. More fails. So we got two expertise here, which is two hits. And we got two expertise, which converts to one block. Okay, one block. Oh yeah, we're gonna do plenty here to uh, to wound you. You are three off from being wounded. Yes. So yeah, that'll wound you. We'll take our point back and hmm. I guess it depends on which. Do I want to go the shove route or jump? You're gonna get one, so you can cancel out one. So we got five. We can go all the way down either line here. Actually, I should have been using this side. Oh well. Um, we got heels. Nobody no, no one to heals. heals. Yeah, because all of our guys are completely wounded now. So I could use the reposition, the jump. I think we're gonna do the triple push and then the jump here. I think that's gonna be the best. All right, Kalani uh, moved up, took the free climb up. Now going to shoot Anakin here. I did leave Anakin on his uh, form five, so we'll have a little bit more defense. Ooh, two fails. All right, so you'll take two wounds off Three our fails. deflect. Yes, yeah, so two wounds from deflect, and then just four hits, just straight up. All right, and we get six defense dice against ranged attacks here. Okay. You get some fails, though. I get some fails. Of course I got some fails. Uh, that converts into, wow, um, two blocks, and then one of your crits becomes a hit. So, so, so two blocks, so nothing. So I'll take two damage for fun. Yep, you just take two damage for uh, trying to be mean to me. <laughs> All right, so we pulled Obi-Wan here, moved up, spent a force point to jump up here We're using hello there, which will give me three extra attack dice. We're gonna attack into Django here. We're gonna see if we can get him off this point. He's at full health, so getting nine wounds through is uh, pretty much impossible because we can't do quite, I don't believe, six, seven, eight. Yeah, the most we can do is eight here, but we can get some shoves. So uh, I think the, the shoving is gonna be the important part. If we can shove him off the point, uh, we'll take it because no one else is up here contesting it. And I think we really need that to get back in the game. Uh, this uh, We've swung it back over into his favor. He's been scoring three every round, which has really been hurting us. We need to score three ourselves here. So we're gonna go ahead and swing in here. This is eight dice and I need one more. So we have a fail, which we don't. Oh, we do. So I'll reroll the fail as our, of course, that's just a bad dice. Uh, we should just melt it down. Uh, and then the one expertise turns into a hit. Mm, that's five defenses. I got two fails over here, so three, three blocks. Wow. Or two blocks. Uh, so we get five through here, which will be enough 
to get our double shove we we did so we can go that route there and get our double shove i think that's going to be the the way to go here so we'll shove him and immobilize him double shove immobilize uh, expose and then also the the expertise on the, the ranged attack as well that which that one it cancels out expertise on range uh, disarm disarm yeah all right, changed up a bit. Just did the one shove. One shove got him uh, off the platform, so we have the high ground. So we went ahead and took that point. Uh, and then we came down here to do more damage and a free jump again. So we just kind of moved up just a smidge and uh, call it good after that. And uh, we take three points. So we get to move the, track, the tracker back to our side here. All right, so uh, last in the stack here is going to be uh, Rex who's going to give his ability to dash to Obi-Wan so he can move forward just a little bit, take a hunker. We spent another force point here to gain defensive maneuver so he himself could dash and get a hunker token. Uh, we're shuffling back in, or flipping force tokens back after this, so went ahead and just started spending stuff. Um, and yeah, now we're gonna take a shot into Kalani. Kalani here, we used our first actual action to move. I thought this was going to be the first roll of how to fail. I was wrong. All right, and then we got no expertises. Mm -hmm. Two fails. Two fails. One expertise, which is one additional block, so I get two blocks. Two blocks, so we lose two. So we've got four coming in then. And down the line, so we can either take the top one or the bottom one. He's at, he's taking two of his ten, so he's got eight wounds left. So we're not going to be able to kill him, but we could take him pretty far down. We could push him. I don't think we really need to push him, though. He's not in a bad position. We have no one to heal right now. So, yeah, we're going to take the top line here. We're going to deal six damage to him, expose him. And uh, I'm going to... I can push him, but I'm just going to push him in the wall so he doesn't move. Because I like, I like where he's at to be able to see him. All right, so where we're at here, we drew uh, Ahsoka as our first unit here. Um, and if we can score a wound right here, we'll take the first struggle. Um, because we'll get one more for the wound, uh, taking it to the three, and then we'll score our three points here for controlling the objectives. So yeah, I think uh, that's what we're going to do here. Is we're going to go and see if we can wound Kalani. He's got two wounds left. He's only got three defense. So I mean, a lot of fails. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some fails. I got golly. Yeah, three crits. Which should get us there. Two fails and one expertise leaves me one block. One block. So you block our regular hit, but we'll still get three crits through, which will be enough there. Either either one we go with. Actually, I think I'm going to take the reposition so I can actually jump back onto the point because I had to get off the point to do it. So we'll do three here and then jump back. And you'll get a, a strain as well. Oh, you had a expose though. You actually didn't even get that crit. Right, so actually, should be one more. One more, which would be a push. You can push you or double heal. Uh, unfortunately, no one near me is wounded, so no heals needed. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I'll, yeah, I'll put another expose on you. So I can, I can push, jump, expose, push again. So yeah, we'll do that. All right, so uh, first uh, activation here of uh, Struggle 2. Uh, Saj moved forward, jumped up here, double force points to get that jump. Going to melee into Ahsoka here on uh, Makashi form. Try and get some heals, get that expose off herself, as well as uh, healing uh, Django some. So. so seven dice. Seven dice versus my five in melee here. That's cocked. Right, super cocked. Okay, so we have two expertise and a bunch of hits. That's pretty good. No fails for you. Two expertise on this form Ooh. is two crits. Two crits. Ouch. That is that is a whopper of a hit. All right, come on, come on. Look at all these fails. Oh, and we get not, not even for that. Not even one. Oh, that's when you attack me. Yeah, that's yeah. No, I was like not on defense. <laughs> uh, let's see. We've got three, so we get two blocks. Oh, and a jump or whatever that's worth. So yeah, we blocked two of those. So five. Yeah, five through. Four. Yeah. But you cap out at four. Even, I can't even get yeah. the five. You cap out at four, <laughs> thankfully. So. 
Ouch. That was that was a heck of a hit. Mm -hmm. So I don't think you can quite one shot me. It doesn't look like. Now I can do six damage to her and shove her twice. Dang. All right. All right so I'm just I'm just gonna push her. Yeah, you're gonna push me, and then I'm gonna jump. <laughs> <laughs> so. so. All I'm right. I'm gonna push you. Let's see the angle. Ouch. I'm gonna push so you yeah, off here. Six. I'm down to two again. And then. All right. So ended up jumping Ahsoka to the side here. She's only got. Uh, like two wounds left. I uh, put the put the wounds on the wrong person. That's what happened. <laughs> uh, so I moved her back here. Ended up drawing our uh, five of first clones, which are just in a terrible position to really impact the game right now. So paid to put them in reserve. Drew Obi Wan. Obi Wan jumped down behind Django, and is gonna swing on Django from behind. We're gonna take a focus. So that's actually gonna put us up to eleven dice in total. I've only got eight here to roll though, so. I'll need more after this. All right, well, there's a ton of fails. Oh my God, well, there's three to reroll. All right, we got two expertise here, which is a crit and turns a block into a fail. Two blocks. It turns a block into a fail, okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what I'm reading here. Yeah, clone armor. Hmm. I didn't know that's how clone armor works. All right, so you got three. Ouch. All right, so there goes three of our hits. So we're only getting two crits through. What's his health at? His health is at six, so he's got three left. Three left? Okay, we can do exactly three here. So we can push him and then uh, give him a uh, the, the broken weapon. The Disarm. Disarm. I don't know why. That's the one I can't remember. So that will wound him, which will give us... A momentum for getting a wound here and we'll also take that back point so we'll move it to zero here which then we'll both get a momentum because we're back to zero round two is gonna go quick and then yeah that'll be it uh, and just to clarify I was looking at the wrong one uh, but instead we would have gotten a crit and a hit so it would have worked out to be the same but yeah I did not turn a, a block to a fail all right, so pull the shatter point. He's going to go with Dooku here. So Dooku took that free climb down the ladder on that side and then moved over and is going to attack an Obi Wan. Also, the Magna Guard got to do a free move uh, with Dooku there. So, which either way, you'll take the point back. And we shall roll well. Oh, man. At least somebody can, I guess. Goodness, and two expertise. Two expertise. My duelist training is... Should be the middle one, I think, right? Yeah, lightsaber. Two crits? Two two crits. Oh, golly. All right, we get six on defense here with Obi-Wan. Or, sorry, actually, it should be one more because we do have a hunker token. So we got to reroll a fail. All right, so we got two expertise on defense. This is the one that turns one of your crits to a fail. And then I get one extra block. Okay, so that turns to a fail. Yeah, so I get four blocks in total there. You these three. Alright, so you get three through on Toby One. Alright. So. Gave up the point though. Which, yeah. So this, we keep uh, doing priority and it keeps going to one that neither of us has during our own turns. So we are going to do a shove. Total of five damage and an exposed. Five damage and an exposed. Ouch, that's gonna hurt. All right, so big round here. We pulled Rex here, so we get a free move on one of our guys. So we went ahead and moved this guy back just a little bit. So he's gonna score this. This is the priority this round as well. He got a hunker token for that. Then we spent a force point to move uh, to dash over here next to the ladder. Free action, climb up. Gain, so he gained another hunker token from that dash. We're gonna shoot the Magna Guard. If we can get our push, which is the, literally the first one on one of our rows, we can push him off the point and use our second action to go claim this middle one here. So, when you get one damage through. Because the Hunker, I will get six. Yeah, the Hunker token, you got six defense dice here against ranged attacks. Uh, we got a crit, that's huge. One expertise on Rex, turns into two hits. So that's a very, very healthy. Two, two fails. fails. All right, finally got some fails. Uh, one expertise is just a 
block. Block. So, so we'll block four. four. So one, two, three, four. So we'll get three through. Um, I wanted to use the top one because it does more damage, but that won't get us there. So we're gonna have to do the bottom row instead, which will get us two pushes, two damage, and two heals. And uh, Ahsoka may be in range of your heals. Ah, uh, that's true. Yeah. So. I think she'll be very much appreciative of that. Check in range here. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Put the shove thing up here so we know which way you can shove. Yep. As long as you go off the off the side, that's all that matters here. But then it's a double shove, so I got plenty of plenty of room to work with. All right, Jane goes up next. He's going to move into the base, use a force or double force rather to use the jetpack to jump up here into melee with Rex. Going to try to wound Rex to get him off the point. It's going to be a lot of damage to shoot through though. Go Django Fat. Nice. Two oh, fails. That kind of sucks. Fails, yeah. Got a crit though. So the hit. Yep. hit. Two expertise. Which in melee is a crit and a damage. Wow. Okay. We'll just skip that whole deal and go straight to a damage. Okay. <laughs> All right. I got five on melee here. Uh, two fails. Two expertise on defense is just one extra block. So which won't matter because you got all those crits. So. so one damage plus two, two crits. crits. So no push, so you can't get me off the point at least. Yep, but I'll give you three damage and a strain. Ouch, man, a lot, a lot of damage. So four damage in total and, and a, strain, a strain, which could be another three if we can't heal it off. Yep. All right, so we pull Anakin here. Anakin's gonna move up to Asajj. I could, there's so many like squirrely things I could do here. I could move to the ladder, climb down the ladder for free, jump over here to Dooku and the Magna Guard and try to, fight for this point here but um i think obi-wan's just out of range two so he's not even going to be contesting the point there so at best i could take us down to 1v1 um but i think i'm just going to come over here and work on Asajj. Asajj is the closest to being able to like come interject in this area so if i can work her down i think that'll be the best bet I uh, also want to notate that this is the fourth turn in a row that the primary objective has stayed the same. Yeah, four, four times in a row. Hasn't moved. So that's that's wild. So yeah, we're just going to go after Asajj here. We can always double attack if we need to. Unfortunately, even if we wound her here, she has three. She's a secondary with that can take three wounds. So that's pretty, primary. pretty wild. Is she a primary? Yeah, she's a primary. Oh, okay, I was thinking she was a secondary. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay. Ugh, no fail. Right, one, fail. one fail here, and we got yes. three expertise, which gives us two crits. Yeah, one fail. Four expertise. Uh, let's see. Four expertise is two blocks and a jump. Oh, interesting. Assuming she lives. All right, so three, which will cancel out two, and the rest are all crits here. So then we're looking down here. So we've got five, six, seven. We could do eight in total, which will not kill her. <laughs> oh, one, one off. I could, we could put the, uh, she gets the, uh, the, the strain though, which could kill her when she activates at least. So I think actually, ooh, the immobilize also sounds good, but so does a jump to get us in a better position. I'll have to think about which one of these two I want to do here. All right, so pull Dooku here. Dooku's gonna let them, one of the Magna Guards move for free. He's gonna come over here to the side, which will actually uh, let him take that point at the end of this turn. And then Dooku himself is gonna focus and then swing in here on Obi-Wan Obi Kenobi. Kenobi. Who has an exposed, so he doesn't get expertise on the uh, Yeah, that, that's the only thing I seem to roll in this game is expertise, so that's real bad. And so I'm at eight dice. I want to talk again. Uh, I got one fail, two fails, yeah, two fails, three fails. Oh, and two hits, two crits, right. and one expertise. Which on this, my lightsaber is pretty good because it reverts into two crits. Oh my, two on, crits on, on one, one expertise. Holy cow! <laughs> <laughs> all right, come on, what are we doing here? There those fails. Look at all those fails. No expertise. We get two blocks, which is the only thing we could block. So. <laughs> Four crits then. Four, and we're down to five health on Obi Wan. So, so we're going to do and pull this exposed. Exposal. Well, don't go too far. Oh, with it. oh nope, it's going right back. Okay, because yeah, well, we're going to do a shove, a damage, two more damage, 
Two more damage and expose, and then two more damage. All right. Just, that last part's irrelevant. So, yeah, <laughs> he'll be wounded then, so we'll go ahead and pull that damage off the card and give him a ton of tokens. Oh, I shall point out the uh, the primary did finally move um, the priority, not primary, to, to his side. So we're actually going to flip this. So you're going to score three this round. Which will actually put it back to the middle. Back to the middle. You get one for wounding me, and then we both get one for hitting the zero. So this round is probably about to be over. All right, so we ended up pulling our shatter point here, and uh, priority shifted to the middle point, which uh, we don't own technically yet. It's still red. Um, but we, what we're doing here is we're moving free climb up the ladder on the first guy, and then take the move action, move here, move here, gets us within range. So we have three guys to his two, which will flip it. So. Uh, at the end of the turn, but we're going to go ahead and take the attack action here against uh, Django. We're going to shoot from the bottom first. Uh, got a fail, and one expertise on these guys is just that's just a damage. I got two crits and two hits here. I got four blocks. All right, so only two will apply because the rest are crits. So we'll do uh, two damage. An immobilize and a shove. That's a weird. How does that even work? <laughs> how do you get an immobilize and then shove somebody? Um, but then you can still be shove when you immobilize. It's when I do a move action. Right, right. It's just it's just a funny concept. And then we're gonna punch you with the other guy that's up there next to you. Just gonna get fails. One expertise on the melee. It's just one hit. So Ooh, three hits. Crap. But crap on expertise is still two blocks. So three blocks total. Three blocks, so that block everything there. So uh, he'll he'll live through this, and but we'll still take the point there, which will move it. I don't or maybe think not. Actually, shove me, Harley. Three. Oh, did I miscalculate something? I thought that was game. It, it was if you wounded me. Ah, uh, was that what it was? Yes. Yeah, okay. Me. So not quite game then. So yeah, we're it's still in it. We're still in it. Very very close though. All right, so I uh, ended up pulling the, the the droids here, the B1s, which don't think it's going to be able to impact the game uh, state too much, but it's going to go for it anyways. Uh, move the droids up first one into Ahsoka. Shoot Ahsoka. She has uh, four wounds left okay. before she's wounded a second time. Okay. Okay. So they've been shooting dice. I don't want any fails. Of course, I get two fails. Two, three. So three. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. And one expertise. Which so was one hit. All right. Oh my gosh. Uh, I got one expertise here on my block, which turns into two blocks, funny enough. Uh, which will cancel out two of your hits. Okay. So two. All right. And two wounds and a reposition. All right, and then the second one's over into Rex. Much better roll. Only one fail. Yikes. Okay, so Rex has five here. Tease gives me another hit. Hunker. Okay. A fail. And three expertise onto Rex. Uh, gives two more blocks, so we got four blocks in total. So just the two crits. Mm, so it's going to be two damage to Rex, two damage to Rex, and I won't be able to fully reposition. I don't think. No, nope, we'll have to stop short. Yep. And then I'm going to use the uh, the Obi Wan ability ability here, the knowledge and defense. I'm going to get rid of all my hunker tokens to recover or heal for that much. So I'll get rid of the two damage I just took. And get rid of my hunger tokens. Okay. All right. So we rolled it here. Priority did not come to one of the two I own. So the only way for me to win this round is to get one wound onto Asajj to wound her to give me one more momentum. So uh, we went ahead and pulled our five first that had been sitting in reserve since literally like the beginning of this round. Uh, and so they're both going to be attacking Asajj here. So first one up first, we took a focus. I used the uh, the force ability here to do the defensive maneuver to dash and give him a, a, 
a hunker. So he moved up here, free action. We went to the top of the ladder here to get him within range. So focus, attack. That's a fail. So I'm going to take two damage from this one. Mm. And I got a. No, she doesn't have deflect. Oh, oh not, right. It's only on melee. Right. Uh, and then an expertise, which is just one more hit. But we got a crit in there, so. Got two crits. I got two fails. And an expertise. Expertise. Is one block. One block. All right. So yeah, that'll take away the three hits. We still got two crits there. So coming down here looking, we actually had to get two through. That'll just barely, that'll wound her. Just two, that'll get her, yep. Yep, and so we'll gain uh, a momentum there. I could attack with the other guy still, but there's no point, because we've got the two points still. So we'll go one, two, and we'll actually take the second struggle. This is the first time, I, at least first game I've ever seen online or that I played myself where uh, someone won two struggles in a row. Usually it flips back. But I think what the, the real change here, the real contender was the one that we flipped up. Neither of us had people on points early. So it actually gave me time to like reposition a little bit and get in a better position. Because yeah, normally it's like a, oh, I'm just going to pick the ones that all my guys are already on. And so the second struggle goes pretty quick in favor of the person that lost the first one, but that did not seem to happen this time. No. But this game actually took us way longer than normal. Uh, this felt super close. This was super bloody. We didn't actually lose anyone, but it was super close. Uh, Ahsoka, if uh, she didn't get that heal from Rex, she would have gotten her second wound token and actually uh, been on the cusp of getting knocked out of the game. So that heal actually kept her in the game there. Yes, yeah, so I, I have basically one wounded and three injured characters on my side yeah. you got uh the the two wounded injured. and two injured yeah oh yeah because obi-wan got wounded there so mm -hmm. yeah a yeah, very very bloody game this this one was and and still like, like we were still like flipping points like crazy and going back and forth i mean both of the mo both games the momentum really got filled up no one really ever snowballed and this one it didn't feel like mm -hmm. it, it was because of the momentum that the games finally like the struggle one and struggle two ended so yeah it still feels like a, a great game uh i do see what people are talking about with that that knowledge and defense where they don't lose their hunker tokens when they become engaged like that feels really strong and getting like the all the extra bonus defense dice and then getting rid of them to heal yeah that that seems strong. Also, Anakin still that two that two force power to attack twice feels so so good. Um, I think the only thing we really on your side that we didn't really utilize very much we didn't get to see Kalani. Kalani usually is a menace, but the the B ones getting wounded and not being able to use Kalani for, mm -hmm. and the uh, Magna Guards being out of range and the Magna Guards were out of range. Yeah, so like we didn't really see Kalani get used as much this time just because all of the stuff that he's really great at supporting weren't able, he couldn't support. And then I also forgot, you know, the Magna Guards can chase a primary uh, units around, and I didn't do that until the very end. Yeah, yeah, getting to build a follow, like, that would have been huge, because they would have been able to hold this point a little bit easier here, and and things like that, so, yeah, the the Magna Guard, that would, that's pretty huge there. Also, I don't think we use the re your Recover Force ability very much, on count. Mm -mm. I forgot it until the very end. Yeah. So, I mean, a whole new team there that we hadn't used before on the channel. So, yeah, that, that's always a big learning curve. Um, but, yeah, so still, still a great game. Hopefully next time we can get uh, Luminara and Barris facing off against those... Inquisitors. Inquisitors. Those Inquisitors. I'm super, super stoked about and, that. And let's not forget Vader and Obi-Wan. Vader and Obi-Wan also, yeah. So I I thought that was an, a, like a convention exclusive. I was very pleasantly surprised when it was not and like stores got them. So getting to see Vader on the field, always, always a fan. So that'll be really great. Uh, as a Legion player that plays Empire and clones and uses... Anakin and Vader nonstop. <laughs> It'll be really cool to see them on the field. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Again, if you want to come play with us, we're here at Garner's Games in Denison, Texas. So definitely come check us out. We got plenty, uh, plenty of products so we can get games in uh, really, really quick and uh, almost just about any time. So as long, long as there's 
clear space, and there usually is, so you can work us in, and we can get.